Yeah, yeah, you read the title right. I would just like to say that, um, you know, the internet has allowed us to truly see how much real evil is on this planet because people get to express their evil behind the anonymous avatars on every social media platform. The internet will never, they will never get rid of the internet because it gives them so much information on how people think and truly react to things. The past few days have been nothing different. I have seen some of the most evil, sickening comments about a man passing away that I, you know that before the internet, you really wouldn't see anything like this. You never did. People kept it to themselves. But after I made the video, giving my condolences and wishing that the man rests in peace, I'm getting messages telling me that Oh, oh, I'm a gr I was such a big fan of yours for years. And the, to know that you actually watched this man, I, I am leaving. You have to understand, and by the way, many of you have heard me say this before, but the channel is always evolving and changing and growing. And, you know, I gain subscribers, I lose subscribers. It's like a stop. So I got new people and old people all the time that watch me. So they have to know this. When you say that you are leaving, it does not matter to me. Like, why use the energy to even type that? Because the fact of the matter is, the day that you say that you're leaving because I watched Kevin Samuels is the day that someone subscribes and says, Hey, I didn't know you watched the brother. It was nice what you said about him. Subscribed. You have been replaced. Just like you can replace me as entertainment, you have been replaced. Don't what like don't even what I want to help you save your energy. Because if you think for a second that you are going to make me somehow feel bad or sad that I'm missing you as a subscriber now, you are you are very mistaken. Okay? I believe that the man, the majority of what the man had to say was truth. And I would say that I agreed with around 95% of what I heard him say. Of what I heard him say. Every day I take a walk for around eight miles. Okay? And uh, for a while, for I would say for two or three months straight, I would listen to one of his streams. Because it would take me around three hours to take my leisurely walk. So that was enough to cover one of his shows. He was red hot at the time. And the stuff that people are saying that he said, I'm not hearing. And I still don't hear. I've heard people say that he only bashes, or, or first of all, he says that he bashes black women. What he does is... He bashes the asinine things that certain people do. He bashes men. If you want to say he bashes, he bashes men and women and everything in between. And it doesn't matter your color. I remember the first time I seen him hand it to a white chick that called in. And I was like, wow. I was like, I was like, okay. Because I was hearing he only talked like that to black women. Black women mainly called in. So that's what you saw. But I didn't believe he was bashing them. I believe he was unapologetically and maybe sternly or brashly or harshly sometimes showing them a mirror. And I say to this, I remember him saying that, you know, he spoke to black women because you're our women. You know, I care about you the most, so I'm helping to straighten you out the most. So, if you can't show a mirror to 
The people that you love the most, your family, your blood, then they're going to go through life living a lie. And I don't, people like things to be sugarcoated. People like things to be sugarcoated. And I've never sugarcoated things. And um, I respected him for that too. To tell you the truth, you know, like I said, I did disagree with some things. Yeah, you know, I disagreed with the whole, you know, high value men don't cheat. They explore their options and a few other things, certain things that he, he said, you know, I didn't agree with. But the majority of the time he was given good advice. And, you know, um, when you're like that, um, or like with me, you know, you'll lose subscribers and you'll gain subscribers for being up front and not really sugarcoating things with people. Um, I think people, a lot of people wanted their hand held and he didn't do that, you know. Um, I just, you know, the, the evil, the, the, let me tell you something. When I saw people celebrating his death, even in my comments they were celebrating his death and of course they've all been banned. So you won't see it unless I missed it by chance. But, you know how they say that the villain believes he's the hero of his own story. Like, that's really true. Like, I'm like, how? But, but, but the villain's always delusional. So it's like, how, how can you truly believe that you're doing good, that you're a good person, and you're doing right by celebrating the death of somebody that was trying to help his people? You didn't like how he said it. I understand, you, yeah, 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 you, you get more flies, what they say, we get more flies with sugar than with um, with vinegar. I, I get that. However, his methods worked for a lot of people, and it caused a movement. And I do believe that if it did impact your relationship in a negative way, I believe that things that he said were taken out of context. Now, did I watch every single show? No. I watched a whole lot, though. I watched a whole lot. A lot. Remember, every day for several months. So, um, I'm not saying that the man was a saint and never said anything wrong. Absolutely not. But I'm just like, like it's weird. Like, they're, they, they're celebrating his death like, he was Hitler or Stalin or something. Like I, I, that. Like, how do you equate those two, those those three men together? How? Like, I, I, I don't get that. But, um, yeah, yeah. You know, I let me tell you something. Um, I, I rarely hate anyone. It, it, it that's you know, it hates really strong and. The fact of the matter is, when you tell people the truth, they don't want to hear it. Especially if you tell it right up front. Like, you know, you, you know, you, everybody's had an experience with a friend or family member that told it to them just like that. And the family member told you out of love, but you, you know, I, you didn't take it that way and you became defensive and maybe even argumentative or maybe I even attacked them because of how they said it. Your homeboy comes over. You sitting there, you overweight, sloppy, ain't doing nothing with your life. Like, yo, man, you fat. You need to come to the gym with me. Let's get you in shape, get you healthy. Let's get you back out there again. Oh, man, why you call me fat like that? You know what I mean? Well, you might be overweight. You probably are if he said that. You know what I mean? But he said it out of love. You just didn't like it. He told you the truth, though. He told you the truth. Get up, get you behind in shape, get some energy, get your life together. Come on, let's do this, you know? And that's basically how Kevin handed it out, all right? This is you. This is just me holding Mary. This is you. This is you, okay? Come on now. And the, the amount of people I see misquoting them, taking stuff out of context, not to, like the whole people are saying, like, you don't deserve, he said you don't deserve love. If you're 35 or over, what? Please send me the link where he said that. What I saw him say is that if a woman is 35 or over, she has to uh, understand where she is on the dating scale. And people, a lot of people are delusional where they are on the dating scale. So it's basically saying, 
if you think you're here and you're really here and you think you can get a man that's here, you most of the time that's not going to happen. You always dealt with the general, with the with the averages, not the, you know, the the, the diamond in the rough, the one that, you know, oh, oh, well, my friend, she no, he dealt with the majority. So if you think if you really truly are here, but you think you're here and you think you can get a man here, you need to realize you're really here and take a man here. Okay, you're not going to get LeBron, you're going to get Bob the Builder. That's fine. As a matter of fact, Builders, a lot of Builders is rich. A lot of Builders is rich. Bob the Plumber, okay? It's fine with that. You can find true love with Bob the Plumber, but if you continue to reject all the men that are in the, uh, the Bob the Plumber department and you keep just going after all the LeBron Jameses of the world, most of the LeBron Jameses don't want the woman in that particular area. You know, whether you're 35 and um, kids and, you know, different daddies. and all. It was different scenarios that he spoke on. So it was, you know, particular for each different woman, you know, whether you're overweight or not. And different men like different things. But he was given generalities. He always talked about how he didn't talk about specifics you know, he was these outlying situations where my friend did this and my friend did that. He spoke about the generalities of how most people think, how most people date. So he was trying to help by giving you the situation that you're most likely to end up in and happy if you can accept where you are in life. You know, and he talked to dudes the same way. You know, if you if you dusty, you don't take care of yourself, you're not moving forward, you're not, um, you know, in shape, you're not healthy, you're not making money, you're not striving to be the best man that you can be, how do you think in the world you're going to pull Beyonce? That's not happening. Like, why? Like, and, and yes, there are rare situations where just that bum, good-looking dude, and we all know at least one. He's like, yo, he stay being a bum. He stay getting these good looking chicks that take care of him, but that eventually runs out. You know what I mean? It's like he's crippled by his good looks and rap. Sometimes you know what I mean? Like they good, they look good enough to get him and talk good enough to keep him for a little bit. But he's always and the funny thing is, dudes like that, they're like always um, going from chick to chick. They usually can't keep a chick for long. But like I said. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's spoken to the generalities, and people say, oh, he bashed black. Like, I, I need to see where he was bashing our women like that. Like, I really need to see like that. Because you can't take the example of someone calling in and him showing them the mirror and be like, look, you, 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 you bonnet crew, you're doing this, you ain't taking care of yourself, you're overweight. You think you were 10, but you're not really a 10. I mean, come on, like, we, we need to, you know, we, we need to speak the truth here and, and let, let's get you some help and get you a man, get you married, you know? Like, don't say that that's bashing black women because it's not at that point. You know, people called in for his advice, for his advice. You talk to your friends for advice, right? Your friend, will t listen, I've had friends ask me, yo, how can I do this? How can I'm like, all right, bro, well, look, to be the best you, okay, you, dog, you working at Target. You out of shape. You out of shape. You working at Target. Um, And you don't seem to be doing nothing else. I mean, what are you doing with your money? Are you investing? You know what I mean? You got to get in shape. Look up toward, are you going toward management? And target, okay then. If you go, you know what I'm saying. Like there's certain steps, you you gotta put your best foot forward in order to get the best that you can get in life. Like things don't just fall in people's laps. That's extremely rare. I remember when I was younger, I heard that Tyson Beckford was uh, approached on the street to be a model, and that's how he got into modeling. But that doesn't happen like that. And you became a super male model. Nick. But that that's not the norm. Like most people don't hit the lottery. Most people don't 
um, invest in one stock and then they're rich or invest in one crypto and then they're rich. In general, the majority of people that become wealthy, um, they probably played the lottery a lot if they did win the lottery. It wasn't just once, you know what I mean? Not these outliers. They're very smart with their money though. You know what I mean? Moving the gamblers out. Very smart investors, whether it be real estate, stocks, crypto, or all of it, or businesses. Whatever. It's not just this shot in the dark fairy tale that a lot of people think their happiness is going to come from. Like, that's in the movies. And, you know, I mean, look, you watch enough TV, you start to think certain things are real and it's going to happen all the time, but they don't. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, but. Like I said, um, I was actually watching Tariq Nasheed the other day. And he was doing a call when people were calling in. A lot of people were calling in, you know, saying, you know, rest in peace, brother, and all that stuff. And uh, the, mo the I watched around half of the majority of the people that called in liked what he had to say. And a lot, you know, I noticed that a lot. Of, when I hear a lot of women talk about him, they didn't like him at first, but once they actually sat down and watched the show, they understood him. And and they got it. They finally got it. But, you know, there were some people calling in and said they was glad he's gone. And I'm just like, man, like, I, I just, just, I don't, I don't even have it in me to fix my mouth to talk about that like some, uh, uh, talk about that, talk like that about someone. I don't even have it in me. The fact that people can call in and express that type of hate. They need something else in their lives. They need something else in their lives. So, if, um, you know, one thing about my channel, and I've heard over the years, and, you know, um, people that do reactions have gotten hate, and they've gotten love, and uh, the fact of the matter is, reactions are mainstream now. Uh, companies pay us to do reactions now. Um, reactions want, uh, companies write us to do reactions now. And the biggest celebrities on the planet and biggest YouTubers and live streamers on Twitch on the planet do reactions now. And people have always said to me, what I love about reactions is it's like watching reactions. It's like watching with a friend. Many of you disagree with your friends on several subjects and agree with them. Of course, that's why you're friends. But you're still friends with them. It's just interesting to me about the human psyche that Ryan really to play the game bars. That when someone's in the spotlight, if you disagree with them, or even on the smallest thing, it can make you hate them, bash them, unsubscribe, talk crap about them. But if it's your friend, you're still their friend. I I, I don't I don't get that. I just I just don't. And to especially it makes more sense to someone you don't know. Like, okay, he didn't agree that he thought this, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten was all good advice. Just one thing. Oh, oh, whatever. I'm done. Rest in peace, Mr. Kevin Samuels. And um, I truly am sorry that you went so early because I truly believe you had a whole lot more to give. And I'm definitely going to miss your, your content. Hopefully the channel stays up. So I can watch all the episodes that I missed. You know, I'm, I'm a person that you know, has discernment. So I can watch something and disagree with someone and just keep on moving. But all right, yeah, I don't know about that one. But, you know, and I missed a lot of episodes and I want to catch up. And, you know, because it was just always very interesting to me. Um, and he put in the forefront a lot of things that it takes people years of dating to figure out. Like, a lot of times I found out, like... I, he didn't exactly tell me things that I didn't know, but he expounded on things that I knew. And although with the, a lot of the, 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 um, the, uh, the numbers he would cite, you know, the statistics, a lot of that I didn't know. A lot of that I didn't know. So I definitely learned a lot in that way from the man. I've been dating long enough to, to learn certain things. So uh, some people get it right away. Um, I understood the dating game uh, finally in my 30s. Yeah, in my early 30s, I figured it all out. And uh, 
and I've been good ever since. But um, you know, I'm I'm really really gonna miss his knowledge. I really feel like he was going really far. He was gonna really do something. And when you get big like that, I mean, people are gonna disagree and hate you. And it's you know, it's something that comes with it, but it doesn't mean that it's right. You know, when Will Smith did that smack, you know, he, he said something about how, um, you know, uh, like it's my job to take that or it comes with the business for me to be made fun of or jokes to be made about me. And, um, yeah, when you're in there, it, it's, it's going to happen. Certain things are going to happen. Jokes are going to happen, all that stuff. But, you know, people will tell you, oh, well, if you want to be a public figure, anybody in the limelight, you need to just learn to accept it because it's going to happen. But I don't know if things like that actually need to be accepted. Um, just because you know there are going to be people behind a keyboard um, not showing their face, not telling who they are, um, you know, doing that, it doesn't mean that it's right. Like, people are like, man, you just got to, you know what I mean? Because that's just what it is. It doesn't mean that it's right. It's online bullying. It's online hatred and harassment. And people think that it's okay. If you found out it was happening to your own mother or father, though, you wouldn't think it was okay, would you? But you turn around and you're doing that. There's people behind the keyboard. If your employers found out what you were doing, you'd be fired. <laughs> like... What if YouTubers and celebrities and Twitchers and Instagrammers uh, were uh, uh, fighting back, started fighting back from, um, you know, the harassment that they're getting and finding out who you were and sending your info and all the screenshots and stuff like that to your employer? Then what would happen? You know what I mean? And to your family members or something. Then what would happen? Just posting it like, all right, we had a private eye, figure this out. This is who the person is. This is what they wrote me and putting you on blast for the evil that you're putting out there. Something to think about. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. Um, again, Mr. Samuels, uh, rest in peace. And uh, like I said, it was a shame that you went so soon. And uh, I'm going to catch up on all the episodes that I did not get a chance to see. People, hey, about to you. Give more love, not hate. And everyone hating in the comments will be banned. No one will see your comments, trust me. 10 million subscribers, baby. Woo!